residents of Nairobi, Kenya experienced an earthquake-like movement at exactly 10.27 p.m. yesterday, which is the 28th of April, 2023. There was a light earthquake which was felt in various towns in the country earlier this evening. This all links to Africa splitting into two continents. Africa is slowly but surely tearing into two. Like anything in geology, it's an extremely long process that will take millions of years, but it will eventually see part of East Africa chip off from the rest of the continent, likely resulting in a new ocean arising between the two landmasses. The colossal breakup is associated with the East African Rift System, one of the largest rifts in the world that stretches downward for thousands of kilometers through several countries in Africa, including Ethiopia, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, and Mozambique. This rift system means that African plate is splitting into two plates, the smaller Somalian plate and the larger Nubian plate, that are pulling away from each other at a super sluggish pace of millimeters per year. Back in 2018, news of a crack emerging in Kenya went viral, with many claiming that this was evidence of Africa snapping into two before our very eyes. Why this startling scene was related to the East African Rift System. As some scientists reported at that time, this was likely just a highly localized expression of the valley's regular rifting activity. The East African Rift System has been in this current process for around 25 million years ago, and the crack in Kenya was an indirect whisper of what's occurring on the continent. However, in another 5 million to 10 million years, changes in the East African Rift system could result in a drastically different looking world. Around this time frame, we are likely to see a new ocean from between the Somalian plate and the Nubian plate. The great continent of Africa will lose its eastern shoulder and a vast sea will cut off East Africa. As strange as this may seem, it's worth remembering that Earth's surface is in a constant state of flux. It's just so slow that human experience can't account for it. The appearance of the world as we know is relatively new. The land and sea we see today of Euroasia, the Americas, Africa, Atlantica, and Oceania are the product of the vast tectonic plate that slots together like a jigsaw puzzle. Very slowly, however, these jigsaw pieces move around on a time scale of millions of years. Just think of the split up that the Earth saw around 138 million years ago when South America and Africa divided. If you look at the west coast of Africa and the east coast of South America, you will notice they fit together like two jigsaw pieces. Beautifully highlighting how this continent we are once joined as one, the departure of East Africa will just be another page in this giant geological storybook. Who knows whether humanity will be around to see any of these changes, but it doesn't look too hopeful.